Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up either a Roku streaming stick or Roku streaming stick 4K with your TV. So the first step that we're going to jump right into is connecting your streaming player. So we're going to plug the USB power cable into your streaming player and keeping the power cable coiled in the Velcro wrap so that the cords don't get caught on anything else. But if you don't have a USB port that can be used for power on the back of your TV, we also have the option to plug it into a wall using the provided USB power adapter. Now my TV does have a USB option in the back of it, so that's what I'm gonna be using. But if you don't have that USB port in the back of your TV, then we can plug in using this power adapter. So unwinding a little bit of our cord here, and this end we're gonna plug in to our Roku streaming stick. So the USB type B, which is the micro USB, is gonna go into the Roku streaming stick. And then the other end, I'll show you on the back of my TV where I'm gonna plug that in. But again, if you don't have that option in the back of your TV, you can always plug it in to the wall adapter and get power in that manner. All right, guys, so getting to the back of my TV, I see I have a USB option right here. And then I need to select which HDMI port that I'd like to plug the Roku stick into. So I'm gonna move some of these plugs around so that I have HDMI 1 available for the Roku streaming stick and plugging the Roku streaming stick right into HDMI 1. Make sure to make note of which HDMI port that you're plugging your Roku streaming stick into so that you know which input to set your TV on. And now with the power adapter, I'm gonna be plugging this in to this USB port right here to get power. Some of you guys are gonna have TVs that don't have USB ports, and again, we can use that wall adapter to get power that way if you're unable to plug in in this manner. One thing to make note of if you're having issues with your Roku streaming stick fitting in to the HDMI port on your TV, you can actually get a free HDMI extender from Roku. Just go to my.roku.com slash HDMI, and you can order a free HDMI extender cable at that web address. So now that we're connected up to our TV, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is gonna be selecting our input. So use your TV remote to power on your TV and select the input source that you use to connect your streaming player. I plugged mine into HDMI 1, so that's the input or the source that I'm gonna be going to to move on to this next step. So the next thing we need to do is get your TV onto the HDMI input or source that you had plugged your Roku streaming stick into. So take out the remote that you use for your particular TV and try to find a button on it that says either input or source. If we can see that here on the top of this remote, I have an input button. It might also say source on your remote or you might even have a button that says HDMI. And cycling through clicking that button until you get to the HDMI input that you had plugged your streaming player into. Now it's a little bit different for me since I plugged in to my Roku TV, so I actually get to my HDMI input right here in the apps tiles area. So I'm gonna open up HDMI 1 to get to my Roku streaming stick. Now the next step is gonna be pairing our Roku remote. So pull out the battery tab on the back of your remote and it will pair your streaming player automatically. So I have this Roku voice remote that came with the streaming stick, and all I need to do is pull this tab out of the back of this remote and it should pair automatically. So as soon as I pulled that tab out, I get this green light flashing and it says that it is pairing the remote. And once that green light stops flashing, you should be good to go and your remote should be paired at that point. So the next step in Let's Getting Started is selecting the language. So I'm gonna click OK on English. And then it's gonna scan for wireless networks that are in your area. Find the name of your wireless router in this area and choose your network. So for me, it's ASUS 22, so I'm gonna click OK on that. And then enter in the network password for your Wi-Fi router and then click Connect. And then it will check your wireless connection as well as your internet connection. And if everything is good, you should get a couple of green check marks and then it should be good to go connected up to the internet. And now we can update our Roku streaming stick. So clicking OK on that. And then after updating, it says your Roku device is updated to the latest software version. So we're going to click continue. At this point, we need to activate our Roku player. So we're going to sign in either to a Roku account that we already have or create an account. We do this by entering in our email address. Enter in the email address that you'd like to use for your Roku account. And like I said, if you already have a Roku account, then it's just going to use that for this process. And once you enter in that email address, click OK on Continue. 
So opening up my email for that email account that I had entered and Roku has sent me an email to activate my device. So I'm going to click on this email. And then you need to click on this activate device button within 30 minutes of getting this email or else you have to do this process again, having them send you another email, but clicking on activate device. And it may prompt you to log in to your Roku account. But once you've done that, our device name is going to be whatever we want to name it. I'm just going to keep it at streaming stick 4k. The location for me is in my living room. You can look over the product terms of use. And once you check this box, we can continue on to the next page. And this next part is optional. You can answer some questions to find a personalized channels and offers for yourself. But if you don't want to go through this, you can just click on where it says skip. And then it'll give us a list of different apps here that we can add to the homepage of our Roku streaming stick if we'd like to do that. Otherwise, we can click continue. And if you'd like, you can look through these different offers and free trials. But if you just want to skip over this, you can scroll down to the bottom and then click on continue. Our setup is now complete. You can manage your account preferences and subscriptions at my.roku.com. You can go to your account by clicking this option right here. And in our account page, if we scroll down to my devices, you should find that Roku streaming stick in this area and you can click on it right here. And this page gives you the option that you can change the device's location, you can change its nickname, or for whatever reason, you can always remove the device from your account if you wish to do that and maybe move it to another account in the future. So now I'm gonna head back over to my TV. So to finish things out, it says that we're all done. So clicking OK on that. I recommend watching through this initial tutorial if this is your first time using a Roku device. But if you'd like to skip past that, you can just click the home button on the Roku remote to get us to our home page. You can download and install different streaming video player apps by going down to the search area and searching for the apps that you'd like to download and install. Any app that you install should show up here in the apps page on your home page. And if you'd like to move these apps around, it's pretty simple to do. We're just going to click the little asterisk on our Roku remote and then click OK on move app. And then we can put that app wherever we want it to be and then click OK to drop it in place. If you want, you can also customize your home page a little bit more by going to your settings and then going down and finding home screen. If you'd like to get rid of your recommendations row, then you can click OK on hide. A lot of people like doing that. People also like doing the smaller tile size so that you can see more apps on your screen at one time when you're on the home page. And going back to our home page, you can now see that that recommendations row is gone and it has four tiles going this way and about four to five tiles going this way. So you can see more apps on one screen by changing those settings. And that'll bring us to the end of this video, the step-by-step -step process on how to set up a Roku streaming stick or Roku streaming stick 4K. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.